Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us for today's webinar. The topic this time is data protection and cloud backup for any size firm. This webinar is being hosted by the American Bar Association's Legal Technology Resource Center, and speaking today will be Brent Byrd from Mosey. The Legal Technology Resource Center is an ABA member benefit provided by the Law Practice Management section of the ABA. The LTRC has been providing lawyers with legal technology guidance for more than 25 years. You can find a variety of legal technology articles, guides, videos, and other resources on our website at www.lawtechnology.org or on our blog at www.lawtechnologytoday.org. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. In charge of, mar of partner marketing for Mosey since 2008, uh, Brent Bird has specialized in training and educating businesses of all sizes on the importance of cloud backup and data protection. Brent's a passionate technology advocate and has been marketing software and hardware solutions for more than 15 years and enjoys the challenge of building awareness and demand for technical products through a variety of sales channels and with cloud partners. Thank you again for joining us. Uh, we'll now begin the webinar. Thanks for that, Josh, and th thanks everybody for uh, being in attendance today. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, something that's extremely fascinating and I think it's going to change your life and that's going to be uh, cloud backup and data protection for your law firm. Essentially we're going to be discussing how to use the power of the cloud to make sure that your data is being securely protected and stored off-site and can be uh, restored and used when needed. So thank you again for, for being here. Here is the agenda of what we'll be talking about today. Essentially why backup is so important, why you need data protection and why use the cloud for this. Uh, we're also going to be talking about how once your files are backed up, they can then be accessed from anywhere uh, or they can be restored where you need them. And then at the very, very end, we'll be talking about a discount for uh, members of the American Bar Association which uh, uh, for the cloud solution as well. So why backup? Why is it important and, and why is it needed? Well, first and foremost, the amount of digital data in the world is growing at an exponential rate. So this is a study that was recently done by IDC. We tried to estimate how much digital information exists in the world um, as of as of today. So as of 2011, when this study was last conducted, they estimated that there was 1.8 zettabytes of digital information. If that doesn't mean much to you, you're probably not alone. But that's essentially a trillion. A zettabyte is essentially a trillion gigabytes of information. So we're, we're talking about 1.8 trillion gigabytes of digital information existed in the world uh, as of 2011. Now they're estimating uh, when they do a forecast that uh, by the year 2020, in just uh, you know seven short years, there will be 20 trillion uh, gigabytes of information uh, that exists in the world. So essentially, it's going to be growing at an exponential rate and grow by more than 50 times what it was in 2011. Now, not not only that, but uh, the not only is the amount of information growing, but also the amount of information that needs to be managed and used in the cloud is going to grow as well. And they're also estimating that. Also, by that year 2020, there's going to be about 12 trillion gigabytes that are going to be managed or accessed in the cloud. So this is a growing market, a growing space, and, and it's uh, something that businesses and consumers and, and uh, individuals are learning. This is a, a great place to store your information so that you can get to it when you need it uh, from wherever you are. So to further make the point, here is an example of uh, uh, something that happened. This is this is in Rome uh, during the span of uh, eight years. So during the papal conclave, which happened, you can see in 2005 when Pope Benedict was uh, put into power. Uh, you can see that there are people there that want to be part of it, and uh, <laughs> they're just there in person. You can see one person in the back. Maybe they've got a looks like they've got a really crappy flip phone that they're using to try to record the proceedings for posterity. Uh, then you see the difference as of today in 2013. Everybody's got a smartphone out or an iPad or some sort of digital device to take a picture or to take video of, of what's happening. So then when, uh, so when Pope Francis was put in, in uh, just earlier this year, this is the, the scene outside the uh, St. Peter's Cathedral in Rome. And you can see that everyone is uh, creating digital content as we speak. So more and more digital information is being created, and, and this is just a small example of it. And if, if anyone's you know, taken a picture recently, you know that you most likely aren't going taking your camera to the photo mat and having those pictures printed out for you. They are digital, and they reside somewhere in the uh, digital space. So how much uh, information are we really talking about? I've, I've kicked around gigabytes and zettabytes and, and, and petabytes and things like that. So what really does this mean? So just to break it down for you in the, in the, to its core essence, if we're talking about one gigabyte of information, that's about seven minutes of an HD video. 
So you've got two gigabytes of information that's about 20 yards of, of books. And then the size of a standard DVD recordable uh, DVD is about 4.7 gigabytes. So you can you know, put a movie on there, whatever, whatever it is that you choose to do. Uh, and then if you could take a million gigabytes, you're going to get to something called a petabyte, which uh, you may have heard or may have not have heard. So how much is a petabyte? What are, we, what are we talking about here? So one petabyte is about 20 million filing cabinets filled with text. Uh, or if you take that same HD video example, now it's 13.3 years of HD video. Uh, Facebook is storing about 15 billion photos right now, and uh, the digital footprint of those, video, of those photos is about one and a half petabytes of information. Uh, when we're talking about Google, they process about 20 petabytes of information every single day. And somebody somewhere estimated that if you were to take the entire written works of mankind from the beginning of time uh, in all recorded, uh, in, all, in all languages, it would be about, and convert them into a digital format, it would be about 50 petabytes of digital space that it would take to, to store that information. So you can see that when we're talking about um, zettabytes, that's, that's much more than the entire written works of mankind. So. We're talking about a lot of information here that's going to be stored uh, or going to be contained digitally that needs to be managed and, uh, and secured. Not only is there going to be more and more uh, digital data that's being created, but also our current data that we are in existence that we have can be lost without warning. Here's uh, just a very, very simple example of, of what can happen to, uh, to your critical data. You, know, you can see that the biggest uh, cause of data loss here is hardware failure. Maybe your, your hard drive crashes or you know, maybe something happens to the laptop that you're using. Uh, right below that is human error. Maybe we just do something stupid. Maybe we just spill coffee on our laptop or maybe, you know, I don't know, something happens. We, we lose it in, a, in, a, in an airport or, or a taxi or something along those lines. Uh, PC viruses, theft, corruption, those are all different causes of data loss and, and they can all happen without really any warning to us at all. They, b before we know it, our information is gone. And if we don't have a backup policy in place, there's no way of getting it back. And if you're a business, uh, if you're a law firm, whatever you may be, data is one of the most important components of your business. And it's not just, it's not just me saying it. Here's some, some outside sources that are, are backing me up on this as well. University of Texas did a study, as you can see, and they indicated that of companies that, that suffer from a catastrophic data, data loss, 94% of them aren't able to reopen. They don't survive. They go out of business. Uh, there's also a study done that uh, showed that 96% of all law firm workstations aren't currently being backed up, and this is also uh, very similar to what we see in the business world as well. Uh, business workstations just aren't being backed up as well for the most part. You've got individual workers that are working on computers, and there are no backup policies in place for those desktops or laptops that uh, workers are using. Now, there may be some of you on the call, or maybe uh, some of you that are using tape to, to back them. You're backing up to tape or some other... Uh, older technology like that, and it's good that you do have a backup policy in place. Uh, but Gardner has found that uh, for those that are using tape backups, for example, half of the time they uh, they don't even work. You can't get that information back from the from the tape drive uh, that you've you've backed it up to. Uh, so it's got a, a failure rate of over 50%, which uh, for a backup policy is is not the best. And then they also estimate that 25% uh, of everybody that's using a computer uh, each year will suffer from some sort of data loss as well. So that's a pretty high percentage. It can really happen to anybody. And when it does, there's really no warning. So this is why we uh, would like to introduce to you Cloud Backup and uh, as, a, as a solid uh, policy for your, for your backup and retention. Reasons being is it's very quick and easy to deploy. Uh, you can get set up in a matter of minutes and then you don't have to think about backup again. We know that when you think about backup, it's kind of like thinking about insurance. Everybody knows that they need it, but it's one of the most unfun things that you can think of. Uh, luckily, deployment is very, very fast, so the, once you get it set up, you really don't have to think about it again. It's very cost effective, but it's much more inexpensive than other solutions that are out there, especially if you are looking at building your own data center or storing your information on premise. Uh, on cloud backup can, can save on average anywhere from 30% based on other, other methods that you might have in place. All your information is secured uh, off-site in in a remote location. So if anything does happen on site, you know, if there's any sort of disaster that may happen in the office, or even if the fire sprinklers go off and ruin all the computers that happen to be sitting on desks, your information is securely stored somewhere else. So you can get, you can get back to it uh, very, very easily. 
There's minimal resources to manage. In fact, one person can really manage the uh, backups for an entire organization. So it's very, very easy to, uh, to manage and control. And then it's accessible from anywhere. So once your information is up in the cloud, you can get to it from any internet-connected device. You don't have to be in the office. You don't have to be chained to your, work, uh, your workstation. You can really get to it from wherever you are. As I mentioned before, it is set it and forget it. So once you do get it set up, you don't have to think about it again. And you know that it's working automatically in the background securely protecting your information. And it doesn't matter if you have one user or hundreds of users or thousands of users, Cloud Backup can scale to your needs and grow as your business grows. As your business information needs grow, Cloud Backup grows as well. So there's just a few reasons uh, why we like to recommend Cloud Backup for you. So how does it work? Uh, it's very simple. First and foremost, you will have a central administrator for your organization that's kind of in charge of the, ba of the backups, whether that's whether you're a one-person shop or whether you're a, you know, 10 people or 100 people, you can have one central administrator that sets the backup and retention policies for your organization. They decide what files are going to be backed up and how often. At that point, a lightweight agent is pushed onto the uh, target laptops or de desktops that need to be backed up or even servers, and it uh, then will then run on that machine on the schedule that's been determined. Every file that's uh, been selected for, for backup is then encrypted and securely transferred to an off-site data center. Uh, so it's encrypted on the machine and then encrypted during transfer and then at rest in the data center. So information is extremely secure. And the best part is that it happens in the background. So a user doesn't have to do anything. They don't have to have any sort of manual interaction. They don't need to put a sticky note on their computer reminding themselves to save their information to a server or save it to a server every single day or, or do something with their information. It's automatic so they don't have to do anything. So they can't mess it up, and they can't forget to do it. So here are some uh, additional features uh, of cloud backup that uh, are important to note: the fact that it's automatic or scheduled, so you can determine when the backup is going to happen, whether you want that to happen every single day at two o'clock in the morning, or if you want to say when my system resources go down below a certain level, when my system memory is down below, you know, ten percent. I want a backup to kick off whenever that happens. Or you can say, I want a backup to happen as often as every two hours. You can have that near continuous data protection. Uh, as I mentioned before, files are encrypted, and they're also stored remotely off-site as well. So information is extremely secure, much more secure than it would be just sitting on a computer uh, in your organization. The client is very easy to use, and, and once the initial backup takes place, uh, at that point, uh, it only looks for new files that have been added or changes to existing files. So the daily backup that takes place is very, very quick. Uh, I've got about 90 gigabytes on my work machine right now that I'm, that I'm backing up. And my daily backup probably takes about 30 seconds because all it's doing is looking for new files that have been added to my backup and for changes to existing files. So it's very, very fast. In fact, I don't even know that it's happening until I get a pop-up that says that my backup has been completed and my, my information is being correct, uh, uh, protected. We also offer the ability to throttle the bandwidth that's dedicated to backup. So if you are doing a large initial backup and you really want to make sure that it's not interfering with the work that you need to get done, you can tell the software how much bandwidth to dedicate to backup during that time. So you can indicate during the hours of 8 to 5, I only want you to use 10% of my bandwidth for backup. And then after 5 o'clock, you can have 100% of my bandwidth at that point uh, to dedicate to backup. So you can control how much bandwidth is actually utilized. Another thing is we also uh, retain 90 days of, of versions or deleted files. So if you happen to delete a file by mistake or if you change a file, we will keep that original file for you for three months. Just to make sure that you do indeed want to, want to delete it, it wasn't by accident, and just to make sure that you don't need to get that original version of that file. So if you've got a, a PowerPoint presentation you've been working on or a spreadsheet you've been working on for a long time and you've been making multiple changes to it every single day, you can actually go back and restore the version, the original version from three weeks ago or from two months ago, whatever you want to do. And, and conversely, if you do happen to delete a file by mistake and you realize it within three months, you can go and restore that file back, uh, back to your computer as well. So you're protected in case of accidental file deletion and you're protected in case of uh, file changes. It doesn't matter if the file is uh, open or locked, uh, it will still be backed up. And uh, we can also have local backup solutions as well that are available, so you can back up to a local drive as well, whether that's a, you know, an external hard drive or to a NAS device. 
and, and it can send it to that local drive on the same schedule that it's sending it to the cloud. So you can have your information in two places, one on-premise and one in the cloud, uh, for the price of one, essentially. And it's uh, very custom, so you can configure it to, uh, to work for your organization, however that may be. Uh, obviously, when you're talking about cloud security, cloud backup security is one of the one of the first questions that we get. It's one of the most important things to make sure that uh, is being taken care of. And the great thing about cloud backup is that security is end to end. So, as soon as you select those files for backup, they are automatically encrypted on on your on your machine. So, you say I want to go ahead and back up the entire contents of my C drive. At that point, everything is encrypted on your computer. We use uh, 440 bit Blowfish encryption, which may not mean much to you. So if you're ever bored, feel free to look that, that up on Wikipedia and you can, uh, you can find some wonderful sleeping material for you. At that point, once the, the files are encrypted, uh, we send them through an encrypted tunnel again, so they're doubly encrypted on the way to the data center. And on the way to the data center, we use 120 bit low, uh, SSL encryption, pardon me, which is the same encryption that banks and financial institutions use to uh, transfer money and funds to other banks. And then when the uh, information is being stored at rest in the data centers, it's also being stored in an encrypted state as well. So from, from beginning to end, your information is being completely encrypted and secured along the way, um, making it much more safer than it would be if it were to just be sitting on your, on your computer protected by a lock screen. So it's, it's, it's very, very safe and secure. As far as uh, where the information is stored, they're kept in a variety of secure data centers. Uh, remote and, and off-site, and these are very, very secure facilities. Not just anyone can access them; only certain people can. And it requires that they get their, you know, have to scan their eyeball to get entry or something, something similar to that. Uh, they're protected in case of earthquakes or fire. Uh, they're protected in case the power goes out. They've got multiple generators that are ready to go just in case anything happens. Um, and uh, the entire Mosey business, where all information is stored, has been uh, ISO 27001 certified and SSAE 16 audited, and that happens on an annual basis where we achieve those certifications and audits as well. So information is extremely secure and uh, has actually never, never been safer. And they're globally located as well, so we've got the data centers around the world. Uh, so we do have customers from you know, every single country, for the most part, that are backing up, and depending on where they're ge geographically distributed, that's where their information goes to. So if, if we've got customers in Europe, their information is stored in Europe. Uh, same with uh, you know Asia Pacific, if, they, if that's where they reside, then their information is stored there. Just to get a little bit more into uh, how the product works, I'll be giving uh, some more information about the product itself. This is what the software client actually looks like. Uh, it's very very lightweight, and, and as you can see, it uh, it's very customizable. So it runs in the background. This is what the user would actually see. Uh, they can initiate the backups on their own if they want to with the touch of a button. Uh, they can also indicate what files and what folders they want to back up. Or if you prefer to have the administrator do that and the user not have to worry about it, you can lock that down so that only the administrator can see this and can only make changes or determine what options those are. We've made things very simple by breaking things up into backup sets. So if you don't want to go through and indicate which files and folders you want to back up, you can say, I want to back up all documents, I want to back up all spreadsheets. Uh, things like that, so you can be up and running very, very quickly. And uh, all storage that we do is single instance, so if uh, someone within your organization is backing up the exact same file, we only will back up one copy of that file, so you don't need to worry about uh, you know, 16 or 17 different people have the very same file that they're backing up, you don't need to worry about using the bandwidth to back up 16 different versions of that file, we'll only make sure that we, we back up one as long as, the, as long as it's the exact same file. Uh, the uh, Cloud Backup also comes with an administration console, and this is really where you have complete control over the backups for your organization. This is a screenshot of what the, uh, the Mozi uh, administration console looks like, and there's hundreds of things that you can do here, and this is that you can control the backups for, for your entire organization. You can immediately see what uh, clients are being backed up and which ones aren't. Uh, you can immediately see, uh, you know, if someone hasn't backed up in a few weeks, you can see who that person is and, and why. Uh, you can set, you can configure settings here. You can manage the accounts for individual users. You can allocate resources. So if you want to, if you want to give a certain user, you know, 50 gigabytes or 100 gigabytes, or whatever it may be, you can do that here through the console. You can manage machines. You can put users into different groups to make them easier to manage. There's 
a variety of things that can be done here, but the point to be made is that this is the primary uh, administrative console for the organization. This is this really controls the backups for the entire organization. The great thing is that this is also available or accessible via the web. So you don't have to be at work to be able to access this. You can simply log into your account from anywhere and get access to the administration console so that you can control uh, from wherever you are. So you're not constrained to being at work to make sure that you're managing your backups. Um, in addition, you can also access your files from anywhere. So this, uh, this kind of illustrates once you put your files into the cloud from your computer, wherever it may be, you can also get to your information through mobile devices or through a browser. So you're also liberating your information. So not only is it being protected, but it's also much more accessible to you than it was before. Maybe you're at home and you need to send a document to a coworker, but it's on your work machine. All you need to do is log into your backup client, either from your, your phone or your, your, your iPad or whatever device you may have. Log into your account. You can uh, get to that, that information. You can download it back to your device. You can email it to somebody else, or you can, uh, you can make any changes if you need to. Uh, or conversely, if you can only access uh, your information through a browser, maybe you're on your home computer or whatever it may be, you can log into your account from there and get access to your files as well. So not only is your information being completely protected, but it's also much more accessible than it was before. In addition, uh, cloud backup can also be used for servers. We do have a server backup uh, product as well. It can be used for uh, uh, Windows and Mac servers, uh, the physical servers, and also if you've got virtual servers, those, those can be backed up as well. It, it's really best for the, the smaller servers, so if you've got network shares or if you've got a server that's running SQL Server or Exchange, those are ideal candidates to be backed up uh, to the cloud. Maybe you've got a SharePoint server or, or Active Directory, whatever it may be. Those are really the best candidates for, uh, for cloud backup with servers. So not only can you back up desktops or laptops, but you can also back up uh, servers as well, so the complete portfolio. Now the most important thing about cloud backup is, is getting your information back. Uh, obviously if you've got backup and, and something happens, you want to make sure that you can get to that information quickly and easily. And there are a variety of methods to, to get your information back. So let's say you do have your machine with you. Maybe you deleted a file by mistake or, or something happened. Maybe, maybe you deleted your entire C drive and you didn't really mean to. Uh, you can simply go into the client. You can just open it up and find the files that you want to restore, click one button, and then we'll restore it back down to that machine. Uh, we also have a virtual drive as well, so you can go to, if you've got a Windows machine, you can go to your file structure, and you can see, here's my, here's my Windows file structure with the C drive. We put a virtual drive on there as well, so you can just double click that, see all the files that you're backing up in your virtual drive, and you can easily restore those to your computer as well. Or maybe you've made changes to an existing file. Maybe you've got a, a spreadsheet you've been working on for a, a number of weeks, and you want to go back to the original version of that file. You can simply go to where that file lives on your computer, right-click it, and the system will ask you which version of the file do you want to restore. Uh, you know, it, will, Do you want to restore the version from two hours ago? Do you want to restore the version from three weeks ago? Whatever it is, you can go ahead and just right-click and restore that file back down to your original machine. Now maybe you don't have your machine with you, maybe you, it, it, the hard drive died, maybe you lost it somewhere, maybe you're one of the uh, 15,000 people that's going to lose a computer in, a, in an airport. Um, what do you do then? Well, you've got your new machine and you want to get your information back. There's a variety of methods you can use to get that back as well. If you, if you did happen to store your information to a local drive, you can just plug that information in and, uh, and start downloading it directly to your machine. Uh, if you don't want to do that or if you, you can't do that, we can uh, put all your information onto media. We can put them onto DVDs for you or a hard drive and, and ship that to you overnight. Uh, there is a small fee for doing that, but uh, if you've got you know hundreds of gigabytes of information that you want to make sure you get back quickly and easily, it's well worth it. You can also log into your account via the web and uh, select all of your information and restore that down to your new machine as well. Now, in addition, if you do have an administrator that's in charge of the backups for your organization, they have two things they can do as well. They can assist users by actually downloading their information and sending it to their computers, or they can do a complete uh, machine migration and simply replace that machine with a touch of a button and migrate a backup from one computer to another. So it's very, very easy. And if you do have an administrator that's uh, in charge of this for your organization, it's, uh, it's very quick to do as well. So getting your information back is, is very easy, and there's a variety of methods to get it back. 
As I mentioned before, there's also uh, the ability to access your information from a mobile device. At this time, we've only got uh, uh, capability with uh, iOS or Android devices, but it really enables you to get to your information from wherever you are. Uh, you can you know, access your files, you can send them to somebody else, you can email them as a file attachment, whatever, whatever you need to do, you can get your information from wherever you are. So your information is now mobile, as, as mobile as you are. And as I mentioned, the great thing about cloud backup is that it scales to really protect any size firm. It doesn't matter the size, it's, it, it, can, it can suit your needs. So if you're a larger firm, for example, data is going to be one of your most valuable assets. And most likely, if you've got many, many multiple workers within your firm, maybe you require them to do some sort of manual interaction to make sure that their information is being backed up. Maybe you require them to manually back everything up to a server or manually store everything onto a onto a collaboration server, whatever it may be. For the most part, users are in charge of their data security. Maybe you've even got remote offices or dispersed workers, and you have no idea what to do to back up those individuals. Uh, well, Cloud Backup can help with that as well, because you can easily distribute the, the, uh, the Cloud Backup to thousands of users through the administration console. And whether they're remote or in the office, it doesn't really matter. They can all be protected. And every time they're connected to the internet, they can be backing up on the schedule that the administrator determines. Now, if you're a one-person shop or a small shop, and, and uh, most likely you don't have a dedicated IT staff, most likely you're probably doing the IT for yourself. You're, you're, you're the one that's in charge of everything. So for you, you probably don't have uh, time to investigate what your options are for data protection. Uh, obviously, you may not have remote or dispersed workers or offices, and, or you might if you're a, a, a smaller shop, and then your servers typically aren't, aren't being backed up. Maybe you're, you're backing everything up to a server, but that's it. There's no protection for that server itself. Cloud Backup can help you as well, because you can get everything set up quickly and easily yourself. You can select that server to be backed up in addition to your, your desktop or your laptop. You can determine how many files you want to make sure are backed up to the cloud. And you can make sure that they are being securely protected off-site and that they're securely accessible as well wherever you need them. So it doesn't matter the size of your organization. Cloud Backup can scale to suit your needs. And the bottom line is uh, also Cloud Backup is going to save money and it's going to save you resources as well because there's a variety of things that you don't need to worry about. You don't need to worry about purchasing hardware and saving your information in that hardware. You don't have to make sure that you have the most recent version of the hardware, that your, all your software is updated. We take care of that for you on the back end so you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to hire any additional staff to make sure that uh, they're managing the backups for your organization. Uh, you don't have to worry about developing software and making sure that's current. Uh, all of the backend infrastructure is taken care of for you with Cloud Backup. All you need to worry about is how much storage space you need and then paying a small monthly fee for that or an annual fee, whatever works best for you, for the amount of space that you're actually using. So it's very, very simple to budget and plan for and uh, works works well for your organization that way. So it can save you money based on other methodologies that you may be using. And lastly, uh, if you're an AVA member and if you're on this call, I'm assuming that you are, uh, MOSI is a part of the uh, Member Advantage program. So we do give uh, discounts to American Bar Association members as well. You can save 15% off your entire purchase. And whether you need to buy MOSI for yourself uh, or for your organization, uh, we will save you 15% off that purchase as well. You can find more information on the Member Advantage site to the American Bar Association website, and it will take you to the landing page at Mozilla that talks about it. We also have uh, dedicated sales reps as well. If you do need to discuss your situation, they can talk to you about that also. Um, but Mozi is the cloud backup provider, uh, one of the cloud backup providers through, uh, through the American Bar Association, and um, we can offer you a discount there.